Tensions ran high today outside the Kiryam military court, which sentenced IDF Sergeant Elor Azaria to 18 months in jail for fatally shooting an incapacitated Palestinian terrorist in Hebron in March last year. In addition, Azaria was given a one-year suspended sentence and was demoted to the rank of private. Today's ruling culminates one of the most controversial court cases in the country's history, with the trial creating social divisions within the ranks of the army and society in general. Explaining the sentencing, military judge Colonel Maya Heller said the court had taken into account the period Azaria has already served in open custody, as well as his good behavior. She added the court also took into account the complexity of the incident in Hebron last March when terrorists sought to attack soldiers and succeeded in wounding one soldier. She, was, she noted it was the first real operational mission Azaria was confronted with, requiring him to treat a wounded comrade. While the atmosphere at the time was complex and tense, Heller also harshly criticized Azaria's commanders and their handling of the incident. She added that the court views Azaria's behavior as a one-time failure. Eyal Basser Glick, one of the soldier's lawyers, asked the court to delay Azaria's entry into prison by at least 15 days until after they appeal the sentencing, saying a key witness in the trial has since reneged on his testimony. He described their chances of an appeal as good. However, prosecutors opposed the delay and asked that Azaria begin serving his sentence next Sunday. In the end, Heller agreed to delay Azaria's entry into prison, saying he will begin serving his sentence on March 5th in the military prison 6. As the sentencing was being read, hundreds of protesters gathered outside the courtroom to show their support for the convicted soldier. Dozens of IDF officers were deployed to control the crowd, fearing the clashes would erupt, like the day when Azaria was convicted of manslaughter charges. Extreme white-wing protesters from the Lehava organization shouted violent slogans at police, including, we are the law here. But overall, the protest was conducted in an orderly manner. Beitar Jerusalem soccer fans were also among the crowd, which included members of the criminal La Familia group affiliated with the soccer team. Supporters repeatedly said they would do all they can to see that Elora Zaria won't spend a day in jail. The demonstration was also attended by singer Ariel Zilber, who came to entertain the crowd with a song he specifically wrote for Azaria called Raise Your Head Up High and Don't Be Afraid. In his song, Zilber came out in support for the soldier's conduct, calling Azaria the nation's hero, saying that his trial is everyone's trial and anyone who has a bit of sense should know he did the right thing. The sentencing handed down to Elora Azaria created a swift political backlash with government ministers calling for clemency and other lawmakers criticizing politicians for their cheap populism, saying they are threatening the values of the army and the ability of commanders to carry out their duty. Among the government ministers, Yoav Gallant, Miri Regev, Naftali Bennett, and Yisrael Katz all called on Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman and Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Gadi Eisenkot to grant the soldier an immediate pardon and allow Azaria to return home. Bennett called the legal procedure tainted and said the entire country will pay a heavy price if the soldier is allowed to sit in jail. M.K. Zahava Galon, head of Meretz, accused the lawmakers of contempt of court. Yeshatid M.K. Ofer Shelach said while no one is happy to see a pr soldier go to prison, an immediate pardon would make a mockery of the system and laws of the army. Likud Party M.K. Yehuda Glick was one of the only lawmakers to praise the military legal system for what he called its balanced sentence. Writing on his Facebook page, Defense Minister Lieberman called on all sides to respect the court's decision, saying, as in the past, while he may not like the sentencing, it must be respected and upheld.